Good night, Miss Mister. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome to um this class. So we're going to wait some minutes and then we're going to start with uh, with the lesson. Okay. okay? Um, by the way, you already complete the sentences that you sent me? Uh, no, teacher. I got in uh, a lot of form and don't give me That's correct. Okay, we're going to check that today. I'm going to uh, do a space to explain some things about the platform. And um, also, I will try to help you solving those exercises. Okay. Sí. But we're going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Uh, Good evening. I complete unit okay. unit two. Uh, the platform is uh, is grown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, there are some mistakes there, but that has to be solved. Uh, and we're going to check that today. Okay. So. Okay, I'm going to share with you um, the presentation for today's class because it's time to go through the content. Um, first of all, welcome to everybody. I see that many of you have connected today. Um, I can see there to Ana Molina, eh, Sara Sandoval, Evaristo, eh, Jose Mariano. Okay, welcome to the class. And um, let's see, I was checking some exercise with Ms. Sandoval and we were um, seeing that some of them have some errors in the platform. We're going to see those, um, those exercise and we're going to try to solve it if you, oh well, you're going to know how to solve it in case you haven't finished it uh, or in case, uh, you tried to complete it, but you didn't. Um, let's see. Um, give me a second. I will try to share the, uh, the platform right now. Just. Yes. 
Here you see um, the crown. Can you see the platform there? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, thank yes. you, thank you, Mister. Thank you. So, uh, Miss Andoval, can you remind me um, which exercise you are referring to? In in, in the in this case, was the in the section number two? Do you remember which one? The uh, unit two point two. Two point two. Okay, in this case, is knowledge change. Um, well, in this exercise, um, at the end, at the end of this exercise, we have um, a sentence that uh, doesn't correspond to the answer that we have to give here. Uh, if we check, let me see, let me show you. If we check there, um, we're going to see that the answer for this one in specific just this one is a hold in a zone layer has been created through uh, the use of uh, CFC in products like um, hairspray. Um, in this exercise, well, this this one, this exercise uh, has been uh, corrected by the technical support. Um, let me see here. <laughs> yes, all of them are corrected. Yes, all of them. So, um, teacher, in this case, if you go through the exercise 2.2 and you uh, complete the, this exercise in the sentence number four, um, you're going to see that. Uh, the answer that was wrong for has been corrected. So now you can use the correct form of the sentence. In this case, um, the sentence number four says the use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a whole zone uh, in a ozone layer. Um, and the answer, as you know, is a hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFC in products like hair sprays, right? Hair sprays. Okay, so this one is solved. Uh, let me see, uh, Miss Andoval, can you help me with the other one? Do you remember the the other exercise? So because in this case is is um, it's already fixed. I can I can hear you because you have uh, muted your. Miss Andoval, you mute uh, your microphone. Okay. Uh, in this case, this hour is correct. Yeah, this one is has been has been fixed. Uh -huh. But uh, give me other answer. I put other answer in my platform. In your platform. So they, don't worry. Uh -huh. If you already completed in that way. And the and if you check the platform and it says that is correct, you don't have to do anything. So even though if you if you complete it in, in using the, the wrong answer, okay, but if it says correct, you can continue with the following exercise. Okay, um, thank you. Do, do you do it in what in that way? So um when you go through the platform, it's showing you uh the 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 option that is correct this one mm -hmm. yes or no i put uh, i put other answer uh, how do you say it is don't say a, a esta no no es igual a que yo puse a esta Okay, it's, okay. It's all there. Okay, okay, perfect. But your platform shows you like um, the correct options. Like if you have been, if you had complete the exercise, um, 
si usted completó eh, el ejercicio, o sea, si en la plataforma le aparece como completada. Yes, yes. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry. Okay. If you have it correct, it, it doesn't matter, okay? So the, okay. Thing, the thing here is that the technical support already um, correct that sentence, okay? okay? They did it. So now you can complete it if you haven't finished, in case you haven't finished, okay? That, that's... Um, That's for the rest of the of the students. If you haven't completed, you can go there and complete it in that way. Let's see, um, which one? The other one was in section number uh, five, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Uh, 5.8. Okay, section five. Point eight. Let's see. Sections five point eight. This one. Okay. Um, in this case, it is the the sentence number one, right? Take. Uh, I am um, uh, Let me see. Number four. Okay, this the um just the number four. Oh, what do you this number way? four? Then show mm -hmm. the answer of the sentence. The bear is in the platform five. Okay, we're going to see this. Uh, I will show it in a different way because I I want I don't want to show you the whole answers. I'm going to share just a part of a portion of a screen. Uh, in this case, is going to be like this. Let me see, just number four. Give me a second. There, it's the number four, this one. Okay, uh, in this case, We have the, the, the sentence that it says invent, okay? Invent. If you notice there, this one ha, ha, hasn't been, it hasn't been uh, corrected. Okay, so if you go through this exercise, the exercise number four of, of, of the section 5.8, uh, you will answer using will find. In that way, you are going to have it correct, okay? Um, okay. That's just the exercise number four. Let's see, uh, which other exercise do you have um, that it's not working out with the way? And you think that is? In the exam five, uh, let it capital B, correct the mistake. Exercise number five. Um, the end, in the end. At the end, uh, uh -huh. this, this uh, one? Uh, let me see, uh, capital letter B. I mean. Correct a mistake. And give me a second, I will show you. Number number one and number Hello? four. Me, sir? See? <laughs> Okay, um, but this one we're going to solve in, in this way. Uh, I'm going to share to you, um, well, to everybody, uh, the sentence that we must 
correct. And then you are going to tell me a, a suggestions for completing this sentence. Um, I'm going to use the whiteboard in this case, and I will type this sentence. Okay, um, can you see the sentence there in the whiteboard? Yes or not? Yes, yes. Okay, in in this, uh, as I, I have a problem. Okay, very good. So we're going to do it in this way, Miss Sandoval. Okay, uh, everybody, so everybody uh, is going to participate, to, uh, is going to participate for correcting this exercise. The instruction says, uh, correct the mistake in each sentence or questions uh, you need to type in the complete uh, new sentence. And also you, uh, you don't have to forget the capital and periods or uh, question marks in this case. So can you identify in this sentence, what is the error that uh, we have? What is the error that we have in this sentence? Can I? You can you can try, yes. Do you know where I can? Okay, I can. I can what? Do I you know can what? get someone to cut my hair. Ah, okay, very good. You think that's the answer? Yes. Okay, so type it in the whiteboard and then we're going to check. You can use the whiteboard. Okay, anyone I else? Okay, do it. Uh, anyone else has a different opinion about this sentence? The mm. very... Uh, when you somewhat or get the bear is infinitive. Okay. It's correct that I don't know I don't know what is the word. Okay, okay. We're going to check it. So just uh, wait uh, ten minutes because I want you to participate in this exercise. Um, for instance, Mr. Jose, Ms. Uh, Alvarez, Ms. Molina, Miss um, Garcia, you, if you have um, a suggestions for correcting this exercise, please uh, let me know. Um, so here I have uh, Mr. Herrera, Miss um, Gabriela, Miss Lopez, Ms. Amaya. So there are a lot of people here. Uh, what we're doing in this, in, in, with this sentence is just correcting it. Uh, we have just to correct it. What is the change that we have to do to um, have this sentence in the correct form See, Mr. Ramirez, you're thinking, okay? Yeah, but it's, uh, I, I see that is correct. Maybe can be in the, uh, can I get a uh, thing? Okay. The, the, can I the, the verb tense can be the, the corrections, but I, I don't know. Okay, okay, we're going to check. So, uh, anyone else has a, 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 an opinion about it? No? I think the is, do you know where I can cut my hair? Okay. Do you know where I can cut my hair? Only in someone? Mm, I know some. Good. 
Okay, we're going to check. We're going to check, and then let's see. I have a, I have a, uh, a message here in the chat, and it says, uh, "Do you know where I can get someone to my hair?" Okay, kind of. Let's see. Uh, I will share to you the correct answer right now using um, green color. Okay. And tell me, can you identify it? What is the error in this sentence right now? Okay, this is the correct one. Can you identify? What is the mistake here? Yes, it's the, can the I can. Yes, I can. That's the error that we have there. So in this sentence, Miss Sandoval, uh, you were asking about it. In this sentence, we have to change the order, okay, of the auxiliary verb, in this case, with the pronoun uh, that we have here, that is I. Um, we have to be really careful while writing questions um, in the order that we need to uh, we need to to structure it because there is something important okay because if we're um, if we're making equations um, and we're using do okay do it's going to be at the beginning then after that we're going to use the subject and the information that we want to ask. Um, in this case, it, it is, do you know where can I get someone to cut my hair? Um, it, can I, can I, uh, it's no um, the correct form to structure this sentence. Why? Because we have a questions. Just in questions, we are going to use the auxiliary verb at the beginning and in this part, the whole part here, this one, it's no equation because this one, it's just a part of equations. It's just a part because um, the questions or the main questions that we have here is do you know where, okay? Do you know where? And then we add the extra information that we want to ask. Um, that's, we, we need to be careful with it. Um, we need to be careful with it because um, if we do in this way, like can I? Um, yes, um, it could be correct if we omit this part. Okay, if we omit this part, we can use can I get someone to cut my hair? Because this is the the main the main question in this case. If I do it in this way, in, in this way, let's see. Um, well, I will just do it this. I'm going to use this. Okay. So if I use can, remember that we have to use capital letter. Can I? Okay. In this case, we can do it in this way. We, ha we have to do it in this way. Why? Because it's a question. It's a main question. But if we use, if we use, uh, in this case, do you know, do you know where? This is the main question, okay? This is what I'm asking. Um, and then the rest is just an extra information that we're going to use to complete the questions here. So for that reason, we have, do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? In this part, if we notice, is a simple present. I can, I can get someone to cut my hair. Um, can, in this case, is an auxiliary pair. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, it's clear to chair. Yeah, okay. and, and there is a, the confusion because uh, I think I was thought that there can be a, another question that, but that is, is the question is before is the you. 
Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, thank you. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, when we have a question, um, we have to identify which part is the main question, okay? Because we're going to uh, interchange the auxiliary just in the main question. In this case, this is just a part of the question or an extra information that we have add here. Okay, uh, do you have any other question for me? Eh, eh, mister, eh, voy a hablar en español un segundito. Yo así lo tengo como está la parte verde y no, 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 no me lo da correcto. Ok, do you use capital letter? And yes, do you use, or do you use the question mark? Yes, yes. I study in this question all weekend. Oh, maybe, huh? okay, maybe it could be a mistake there. Let me check. I will try to do by myself. Let me see. I, I will check the, the platform. Give me a second. Because I want to, I want to check the answer. Uh-huh. Why it's showing I won't answer. See? Okay, Miss uh, Sandoval. So I yes. was checking. I was checking the the exercise here, and uh, you're right. It's showing a wrong answer when it's supposed that it must be completed in that way. Let me. Well, I will show you. I will stop this, and then I will share the platform in this case. Okay, so I, I, I just tried to solve this exercise, okay? Do you know where I can, where I can get someone to cut my hair? Okay, in this case, it is supposed that it is correct. Well, the, the sentence is correct, but it's showing a wrong answer. So I will try to report that uh, sentence because um, I don't know why, but um, maybe uh, a mistake there could be. No, mistake, no. Uh, it's just an error from the platform because the, the, the sentence is, is in a good way. Um, I will do it. I, I, that's what I'm going to do, okay? I will report this to technical support and they are going to tell me what is happening there. Then, um, I will let you know when it's solved, like the other sentence. Okay? Sí. Other uh, have, uh, wrong is the number number four. The number four. Mm -hmm. um, give me a second. Why? Uh, let's see. How do you have your answer there? Can you tell me? Excuse me, teacher. It could be in a short answer, the, the correct way, I think. The correct way to, which one? The, the last one or this one? 
the, the DOS one, only write the I can. I don't, I don't know, I didn't think I can. Uh, no, I was trying, I was trying. So, well, the thing is I have the, the answer. I have the answer key there. Uh, and it says that, oh, well, I will show you because that way you can, um, you can see, you can see the answer. Um, in this exercise, if you notice, uh, can you see the, the, the platform? I will just use the question. Okay, can you see the platform? Uh, check it out. That's the answer. It says, do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? It is supposed that it's the same that I have been uh, written here. Do you know? Uh, so this is a mistake because it says that, uh, that this is the answer, but it's showing a, a wrong answer. And I don't know why. We have to ask for technical support. And the last one, um, the number four, the, the sentence number four, if I, well, I, I would post it. I would post it um, in the whiteboard. Check it out. There. I will clear all drawings and I'm going to write this. Okay, this is this is the, the this is the sentence. Uh, you can get your leather box shines at Joyce Shoe uh, Shop. Okay, so that's the sentence. Uh, the way that we have to do it is just uh, let's see. Let's see, uh, in this way. I will do it with orange. Can you see? Can you compare the, the sentence? What is the, the, the mistake there? What is the mistake? It's uh, yes. the bear first. Change a uh, part. Yes, the bar stands for Yes, exactly. In this case, we need to use the past tense of a sentence uh, because in the first one, we're using uh, a run, a run uh, verb. In this case, it shines. And instead of using shines, that is for present, we must use shine, that is for past. Um, in this case, with idea at the end of the, of the verb. And we have already completed this exercise. If you do it in that way, uh, it is supposed that uh, you're going to have um, your sentence uh, correct. Okay, so uh, do you have any other questions about the exercises? In this case, in the, in this case shine it, what a meaning? Shining, it's like, um, well, <laughs> um, have you ever listened to uh, the song from Rihanna that it says shine bright like a diamond? Uh -huh. So shines, it's like, um, like the light that is showing a, a, a diamond. Like uh, brillante. Something like that. <laughs> Shining. In, in, in this case, shine. Is used uh, as verb. Yes, exactly, as a verb. Okay. Uh, I write in my platform is the angle is correct. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, very good. So um, we're going to create all the drawings there, and we're going to go through the contents or the lessons for today. Um, I have I prepare to you a PPT presentations uh, that it's about well it's about the infinity phrase. What is an infinity phrase? That's the that's the questions that we're going to be answering uh, tonight. Uh, what is an infinity phrase? 
Uh, but before starting the, the, the lesson, we're going to discuss. Um, here we have a quote that it says, winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. Let's see. I want to listen. What do you think, uh, Miss Miss Lopez? Okay. What do you think about it? Um, basically, the phrase say continue, continue, continue. You fall down, but continue. Get okay. up always. Okay, very good. It's like keep trying, right? Keep trying. If you fail, keep trying. So one day you are going to success. Very good. Yes. Uh, let's see. What do you think about this quote, uh, Mr. Torres? Mr. Torres. I think these people is always keep trying until reach a goal or an achievement. Okay, very good. Yes, thank you. And let's see, I want to listen to, um, to Mr. Hernandez, Neftali. Yes, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine. Okay, very good. I want you to um, tell me something about this quote. Could be whatever oh, thing. What thanks. do you think about it? Winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. In the life, you have to um, fight for your goals, make sacri sacrifice, and you have to um, make efforts. Okay. Efforts and fight and work hard because the life is not easy. There are many risks, but you have to fight, walk, and never get up. So this is my opinion about the quote. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yes, um, I, I like something that you say, never give up, okay? Never give up. Um, yeah. That's what we have to do, never give up. Why? Because um, in life, we are going to see some, uh, a lot of challenge. Um, and we have to keep trying, as Ms. Uh, the, the, uh, Mr. Torres said, keep trying, keep trying. So if you fail, keep trying. So, because one day, you're going to success in the thing that you are in the things that you are uh, trying to to achieve. Okay, so let's go through the um, the lesson that we have for today. Um, let me see. Okay, there. The the objective for today uh, class is in this class you will learn how to talk about solutions using infinitive clauses and phrases. That's the main objective for, um, for the lesson. Do you remember the question? The question says, what is an infinitive phrase? Okay, here we have the answer. An infinitive, we're going to start with this. An infinitive is a verb form that typically begins with the word to, okay, to. Uh, for instance, we have a lot of, um, a lot of infinitive verb and, and when we use it, we can, um, when we use it in a sentence, we can keep the word to while speaking about it. For instance, um, to write, to speak, to listen, to climb, okay? Those are infinitive verbs. And there are many others, okay? There are many others uh, verbs, but um, these are just examples of, of it. When we have an infinitive phrase, 
it says that it includes the infinitive plus any modifier and complements. Check it out this sentence. To dance is thrilling for me. To dance is thrilling for me. Can you identify in this sentence what is this, the, the subject um, where, uh, that we are referring to? To dance is thrilling for me. Can you identify the subject? Subject is me. Yes, me. Me, me, okay. Let's see. What about the other? I guess the job, the subject is dance. Okay. Let's see. So, in this case, in the sentence, the subject is to dance. Okay, to dance. Why? This is an infinitive verb. An infinitive verb can work as a subject. Because in this case, if we say, uh, to dance is thrilling for me, okay, to dance is thrilling for me, um, we are referring to something in specific. Um, you can make the questions. Um, who are referring in this sentence? Or um, what is the thing that we are referring to this sentence? We're referring to, to dance, okay? That's the subject of the sentence. Um, and we're going to see some other examples here and how we construct a sentence using infinitive or infinite phrases in this case. To dance is the infinitive and it functions as a noun in the sentence, acting as a subject. Why? Because if you notice in the, in the sentence, um, to dance, it can be used to dance or dancing, okay, dancing. So that word in infinitive becomes a subject because it is the main thing that we are referring to, uh, to dance. Let's see other examples using infinitive phrase. To see the northern light in person is incredible, okay? Let's see the uh, explanation about it. To see is the infinitive and to see the northern lights in person is the infinitive phrase. The infinitive phrase functions as a known phrase in the sentence, acting as a subject. This part, I'm going to stop there and I will use, I will use um, the marker, okay? Let's see, um, we're going to check this, we're going to check this sentence, to see, okay? In this case, this is the subject. This is the thing that we are referring to in, in, the, in the sentence. But this is just an infinity, okay? To see it's just an infinity and, and it's working as an infinity. So, um, as we saw in the questions, we're going to be discussing about um, the infinity phrases. In the definition that we already um, that we already saw, it says, and I will show you again, it says that an infinitive, okay, I mean, an infinitive phrase includes the infinitive, in this case is to see, plus any modifier. In this case of the sentence, uh, well, it says uh, plus any modifier or complement, but in this case, it is to see, the northern light in person. Okay, to see the northern light in person. The whole sentence here, I mean, the whole phrase here, this one, and this one becomes an infinite phrase. Okay, all these things is an infinitive phrase. 
So, why it is an infinitive phrase? Um, and how we use it, okay? This sentence has include an infinitive uh, ver an infinite phrase, I mean, to speak to something in a specific. And what is that thing? To see, okay? To see the northern light in person, okay? That's the thing that we are referring to. That's the subject. Um, that's what, that, that's the element of the, of the sentence that's become the subject that complete the meaning of uh, the message that we want to transmit to see the Northern Light in person. We're going to check uh, this video and then we're going to be discussing about it. So pay attention to this video. If you already watched it in, on the platform, that's nice. If you haven't, okay, pay attention. Uh, let's see, I will share some. And then we're going to start. Let me know if you can listen. If you not, uh, if you not listen, please, let me know too. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more? Now that you have learned to... Okay, we, we're going to stop uh, here. And we're going to uh, see the information. Now that you're that, We're going to see the information that's been sharing, it has been shared to you. Um, I would use the market. Just give me a second. There. Okay, if you notice, um, in the sentence, we have infinitive. Now uh, sorry, we have infinitive and we have the verb is and also we have the infinitive. If we, if we structure a sentence using this, uh, this form, we do it one way to help the homeless, okay, to help the homeless, we have using the subject, the homeless plus the infinitive, these uh, compound words correspond to something that is called um, infinitive phrase. So, but then we have another thing. We have the clauses, okay? But when we talk about clauses, we are referring to two different sentences, okay? One dependent sentence and one independent sentence. In this way, um, if we talk about uh, clauses, in this way, we are going to join the infinity and another infinity. In this sentence, one way to help the homeless is to build, to build more public housing. That is the second, um, the second infinity that we use it with a clause. So uh, that's been the video for today. And I want you to discuss. Tell me what do you think about this? Is it clear? Is it not? Or um, we need to see, we need to see uh, this topic um, in a different way, or maybe we can repeat the information.
Uh, let me know. So, what do you think? Miss Molina? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. I take. Sorry? It's not great for me, but I try to explain uh, when you mm -hmm. use the infinity clause and phrase is related to the the main idea is the use the infinity clause uh, like a, a subject uh, is that I don't know okay. is that the main idea is that use the infinity cloud in like a, in a sentences is means to subject when use that infinity cloud to talk or to see and is a use that try okay. to okay okay my uh, the, the infinity trace the infinity trace is a subject okay the infinity trace yes. is a subject in a sentence um, but to form an infinity trace, we need the infinitives. What are the infinitives? All the verbs that start with to, to write, to speak, True. to listen, those are the infinitives. But to form, okay, or to create an uh, infinity trace, we need that verb plus a, an additional information, okay? Yes. So uh, it could be, for instance, to uh, work in the house, to work in the house, okay? So uh, in that case, we have Teacher. a infinity phrase. Tell me. Um, I see always is or are verb, but have some phrase or, or exception when we don't use the verb to be? When we don't use? The verb is or the, the verb are? Okay, the, the verb be, Always the verb is, okay. The verb is in are is just to complement the sentence because um, <clears throat> so the, 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 um, in this sentence, it's happening something. We're using infinitives uh, phrases, but to complete this sentence, we need a main verb, okay? I will use the whiteboard here. Uh, give me a second. In this case, I will share this. And I will take a sentence that I have here. Let's see. Check it out this sentence. Can you see the sentence? Can you see the sentence right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. If we identify the verb, the, the I mean the uh, infinity, uh, the infinity trace, we can do it in this way. Uh, as the rule said, we need the infinitive. This is the infinitive, okay, to have. And the extra information is a big dream, okay? A big dream. The, the whole uh, words, in this case, uh, in this way, all this, all this, is called infinity trace, okay? Uh, if I do in this way, this part is just 
the infinity. Okay, this part is just the infinity. Infinity. Okay, this part, just this part. This is the infinity. If we add extra information, in this case, this is additional information. Okay, this is an additional information. If we join, if we uh, gather those parts, we have something that is called infinity trace. This case is infinitive, infinity trace. Trace. So we're going to do it that way. This is an infinity trace, all these things. So this part, the, the, the whole part is used as a subject. All this is also used as a subject. We're going to do it in this way. Subject, okay? In a sentence, needs always a verb. In this part, it could be a verb, um, is, are, am, um, or any other verb that you want. If we notice here, we have the verb require require okay to have a big dreams requires okay requires that is the verb plus the object the same there for us having a small dream all these things it is the object and here we have the sentence subject plus verb plus object in this case in this case, um, we have we have um, a simple present tense. Simple present tense. Simple present. Okay, we have a simple present tense. Um, as the question that you were telling me, if we have to use just is and are, the answer is not. We can use other verbs like require, like words, and uh, whatever verb that can be used uh, in the context of the thing that we are referring to. Uh, is it clear the answer, Miss? Yes, teacher, but always the verb have to be in present. Mm, not always, not always, not always. Uh, in this case, it's because we have a, a simple present tense, but sometimes you are going to structure a, a sentence that uh, could be in past, for instance. Okay. Mister, like, uh, only, uh, only the, there is one infinity. One infinity. In this okay. one, in this one, yes. In, okay. in this sentence, we have just one infinity. Uh, okay, the, one way, one way. Oh. Okay. Can you give us an uh, example in past? Infinitive in past? Infinitive in past. Okay, sure. I will delete uh, the whole drawings. Take it out this. This 
is um, a sentence using the infinitive phrase, but in past, he helped to build the roof. He helped. Can you identify what is the, the, the infinitive phrase in this case? To build. To build, okay? To build is the infinitive. And the roof, to build that is the, the roof. And the roof, that is the additional information, uh, becomes the, the, the whole object as an inf infinite uh, phrase. I will do it in this way. To build, okay. This is the infinitive, infinitive, and the roof, that is the additional information, additional information, okay. And the verb in pass. This is the other structure that we can use for using infinitive phrases. This is the verb, and this is the subject. Something, something uh, that is not happening here is that we are using um, to build, uh, I mean, we are using the, the infinitive phrase as an object, no as a noun, okay? Uh, no as a, a, as a subject. Uh, why? Because the subject in this sentence is he. Okay, he is, is the subject and to build a roof is an object, okay, or the complement of the sentence. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. okay. very good. So, um, here we, here we uh, create some, uh, some phrasal verbs. And also you are going to be practicing platform, some exercise using um, the infinitive phrases. And this, this part is easy, okay? It is easy. Uh, the only thing that we need is an infinitive. And the infinitive, we already know that are two, all the verbs that uh, we add the word to, okay? Those verbs that we have the word to becomes an infinitive. Um, we can use to work, we can use to build, we can use to draw, we can use to drink, uh, to speak, to jump, to climb, okay, to scream, all those are infinitive. If we add something else to that infinitive, we create something that is called infinitive phrase, okay? If we add something. Um, let's see, Miss, uh, let's see, someone, I haven't seen, Miss Alvarez, Miss Alvarez, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, can you, uh, can you tell me uh, an infinitive phrase? Um, let me see. Okay, we can we can structure it. Tell me. Um, I have an idea. She walk. Okay, to, to walk. He walk to get the ball. To get. Uh huh. Okay. In this case, we're using to walk to get. Okay. But we need an infinite phrase. Remember that uh, when we use the infinite, we have to add extra information, uh, like to walk in the park. Okay. To walk in the park. In this case, we're using to walk plus the extra information or the additional information in the park. And we are creating the infinite phrase. And we can use it, uh, the whole phrase that, that we have there, we can use it as a subject. Let's see, we can say, to walk in the park is a good adventure, okay? To work in the park, that's the subject, mm -hmm. is, that is the, the verb, and adventure, that is the object of the sentence. To work in the park is a good adventure. Um, let's see. 
Navy, are you there? It's me. Okay, can you help me um, creating another uh, infinite phrase? To see the stars? To see the stars, okay. To see the stars, very good. Yes, that's a good example. Uh, is anyone else who wants to share with us uh, an infinity trace? To travel around the world. To travel around the world, very good. Someone else? To run the in the night can be dangerous. Okay, very good. Miss? I didn't listen uh, to sing in a concert. Okay, to sing in the concert. Very good. So Ooh. all those things are, sorry, what do you say? To swim in a pool is a good idea. To swim in a pool. Okay, it's a good idea to swim in a pool. The infinite trait is a verb, a good idea, the object. Okay, very good. So. I guess you already know how to construct um, infinity traces, okay? So, um, well, the times, uh, let's see, it's nine o'clock, okay? The time is over, uh, but I will see you uh, tomorrow in the uh, next class, the next video conference. And if you have any questions, as I always say, you can write in the uh, WhatsApp group, please do it there in the WhatsApp group. Why? Because if you ask me something, uh, it could be for general purposes. Uh, for instance, um, maybe you had one problem in the platform and your classmate ha hasn't been um, uh, haven't been uh, complete or ha haven't completed the, uh, the 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 exercise, and he's trying, trying, trying. And the answer is not going well. Uh, you can share some information there, but please, uh, questions do it using the WhatsApp group. Okay, please. So um, in that way, I avoid to, uh, to, to start like um, answering the same question to uh, each of you because you're sending me private message and, and I am answering uh, in one chat, second chat, uh, third chat, and it's something uh, that can be solved using the WhatsApp group and I will type just one answer there and could be easy for me to do it, okay? Um, if it is something so more private that you want to discuss with me, uh, like for instance, uh, your grades, uh, for instance, your record, uh, or any other information that you want to know about the, the, the uh, Inglés Corporativo, so you can do it privately. But uh, if it is for general purposes, use the WhatsApp group. Okay, that's all. So I will see you tomorrow and have a nice night. Okay. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank, Thank, you, you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.